Griffin Sports fans, my name is Magnitude. And I'm the Shadow. I'm Trevor. And we have an interesting matchup later tonight. Quan Chi versus Deadpool. Now, if Deadpool wins a match, and he, he fights right for the title, of course. And right. Quan Chi goes to the D-League for a whole season. Uh, who gets him? I don't know. I, we haven't gotten that far yet. Yeah. Well, okay, if he were to lose, who would get him? I would imagine he'd go to the Frasier Pool, I would assume. Yeah. But if Quan Chi wins, he fights Ryu for the title at Galactic Throw Big three. stakes. Right against former Mag Mag Nation champion Darth Vader. Ooh. Now, I believe Paul Phoenix won last week. He did. He beat Yoshi. He did. And now here he is trying to prove himself. Prove himself. Against former Mag Nation champion Darth Vader. Barn burners. Darth. Darth Vader. Oh, yeah. Kid. Let's go, kid. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kid of Oh, right, speaking of kids, shout out to the guy on the right who's currently at a burlesque show with uh, the girl that he's seeing. Shout out to that guy. Who know. looks like Coat Check Girl from uh, Community. Really? Yes. That's not bad. No. Where did he meet this girl? I don't know. I'm going to just blanketly say the internet. Okay, that works. Yeah. Let's all guess. Here comes Kid. One half of Kid. One half, as you love him. His boy. Mm. Yeah, what is burlesque? Is it a band? Burlesque is where girls dance in underwear. Uh, yeah, in like top hats and like vests mm -hmm. and stuff. Huh. But they're not always good looking either. Interesting. Well, no, because it's more artsy. Yes. Well then. Okay. Uh, that's the thing. I learned something every day, I guess. Here comes Darth Vader, former Mega Champion. Darth Vader. I'm excited. Trying to get his career back on track as well. He's had a he's fall from grace. Yes. Yes. Wait, is he a champion now? Uh, no. He beat Goku. No. Thought he did. No. Goku is the champion. Unless I'm retarded. Hmm. Could be retarded. Let's go to the record books here. He might. No, I feel like I feel like if you would, it would be, it would be that way on my. Game. I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm I'm generally have a good track record of memory. You do. I'm pretty sure Goku won that match. Uh, he did. Goku did win that match. Hmm. Hmm. Well we're gonna figure this out right now because oh, we are. <laughs> because we might be in a weird universe. Well that was really good timing actually. That was. Oh, that's not. That doesn't bode well. That doesn't bode well at all. <laughs> so, why, so then I'm curious of why the game didn't do anything. Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> well. My memory, everyone. Shout out Shout out to my copy of the game <laughs> for not doing the title thing. All right. Well, there you go, then. Darth Vader is the uh, Solar Flight Champion. I'm just because generally the gamer does that. It you does. Know, yes. The gamer just gives it, and that was clearly played on mine because it was in the Ultimate Universe Space Jam roster. Yeah, arena, and that wasn't too long ago at all. No. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> June first. This is, this is weird. This is weird. Bizarre. All right, so that would be a feather in his cap. It's true. It would be. Non-title match then. I'm I'm I'm, I'm generally genuinely curious now. Genuinely. I don't know. Why does your game hate you? I have no idea. Because he talks so much shit about it. <laughs> so do I! Hey, that's why hot tags don't work in your game. That's also true. Uh, and uh, Reptile doesn't come out with his tag belt either. In your game. Occasionally. Well, yeah, but like he'll have it, and then he doesn't have it, and then he has it again. I guess his game just was like... Mm -hmm. nah. Yeah. And screw them in their magnation nonsense. Pretty much. That's unfortunate. Drop to hold by Paul Phoenix. Drop to hold. Drop to hold. Well, this is an interesting debate. Man. Shoulder block by Solar Flare Champion Darth Vader. Professionalism at its greatest. <laughs> it's all right. At least, uh, at least I caught it before anything horrible. Yeah, happened. I don't know how I didn't remember that. I fucking played the match. Damn. Yeah, we don't want to get heat for that because you know then we check, so we would probably get heat for that nonsense. That's, right. That's why my memory's here. It sucks with that guy. Yes, it does. Yeah, those legends kind of scary. Paul Phoenix with a nice slam on Darth Vader. Darth Vader kicked and a counter leg drag. Your own men drive those covers. 
And, oh god, jumping on the sternum, which really doesn't help because he's right. uh, six foot two, asthmatic. Shut robot. him down, kid. Shut him down. It's the rise of kid. <laughs> Top rope. That's dangerous. That's that's not gonna be good. Oh, he's just gonna go. Okay. All right. Darth Vader opting to not move out of the way. Is he from Tekken? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Cool. I, I just got someone from Tekken for my game now. Yeah. Who do you got? Someone that I've been looking for for a while. Real for a while. Goddamn Eddie Gordo. Eddie fucking Gordo. Eddie Gordo side in the blue. <laughs> I was making a joke that the entire team was like soccer in Portugal was Eddie Gordo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just Eddie Gordo. That's Stop and Bundle over to Paul Phoenix. Yeah, because um, whenever I get really hammered when I play beer pong, uh, inevitably I bust out the Eddie Gordo defense, which is just me waving my arms around and dancing while saying Eddie Gordo. That's the Eddie Gordo defense. It's a quality defense. It is. It's usually effective. I need to be really hammered to do it. I was not hammered at Bill's house, though. No? I had, uh, I brought six red apple ale. I think it was a strawberry ale. And then what I decided to do was take out as many of the beers as I could from my fridge. Uh-huh. Just because the beer, my, my, the fridge over there was great. It's very handy. It's just that there was a bunch of things in there that I didn't want to drink. One, two, it's over. Whoa! Okay. Kid! Wow. wow. Shoot. On a roll! With no shoes. That's going to lower the stock of Darth Vader, just like the lower the stock of Cookie Monster learning his, losing his first non-title match. Although he is still a champion. That's true. Thank you. So once he gets the belt back from the championship doer upper store. Yeah, that's weird, because like, normally that like, all just changes on its own. Yeah. I don't think I remember that, but it's okay. So I'm here. Why you're here, you're the Almanac. Well, a Paul Phoenix with an impressive win over More from Darth Vader. the Solar Flare champion, Darth Vader. Who's getting his title clean? Getting his title clean. Yes. Yeah. From the title store. The title store. <laughs> the title watch store. What? Nice. Where you go to get titles clean? Paul Phoenix, impressive win. Yeah, impressive win. Impressive win. Oh, yeah. I lost. And we'll see what's up next. On Magnation Green! What is that? Classic. It's, it's my phone. Ah, cool. Awesome. What do we got next? Celebrating for a while, Paul Phoenix. In the crowd of 131,000 people. He just beat oh my god. Boo, those two. Tag team action. Holy fuck, is that Kakashi? Yeah, where were you last week? Um, I had personal issues going on. Yeah! He had, he had wife stuff. Yeah. And I'm also helping Cookie Monster with his strategy, which is helping him do pretty well right now. Well, that's well, true. He did eliminate nine people in the Royal Rumble and won his first round matchup against the Punisher. So. Well, here comes Kakashi and Devimon, known as. So, wait, 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 wait a minute. Perfection. What yeah. what happened to uh, Mr. I don't want anybody from Naruto on my roster, no matter who they are or how they look? Shadow, I uh, literally uh, forgot Darth Vader won the title 21 days ago. <laughs> What a title! I forgot that. Actually, your game forgot that. I kind of did too, I guess. So I kept saying Goku won it. Now I'm pretty sure he won. Here comes perfection! Sorry. Well, if you're your staring at Darth Vader without a title belt, it was right in front of you. They are perfection! I don't like how I can't like, post on a wall. They're like, kind of assholes. One of them has wings. One of them's Kakashi. One of them's Kakashi. Nate Glass has diarrhea. <laughs> One of them has diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Way over my head. <laughs> yeah. People are like, hey, where's Perfection Song? I'm like, no. That'd be too easy. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels back in Ring of Honor with Frankie Kazarian. Oh my god, yeah, he lasted long in uh, the WWE. Hey Here guys, goes the newest tag team, the Grace Magnation Green. I am excited. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Green Arrow and Hawkeye. Yes! Trying to make their mark on Magnation Green. Ha! Uh, <laughs> That's a bow and arrow pun. Uh, <laughs> Ah, bad to the bow. Da -da. Bad. You know what isn't bad? This theme music. This is the greatest song ever conceived by man. Or the worst song ever conceived by man. Other than turn down for what? Why is Triple H on the bottom corner of your screen? Because it's ROH. 
That's terrible. <laughs> so <they're> just <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Jared, don't look at me like that. It's not directly stealing from true. Jared, we literally forgot a title. You said nothing, and now you want to talk? <laughs> you shut your fucking mouth. Look at that bike, though. No, Hawkeye's side Better than a cheap Yeah, it is Hawkeye's debut. Hawkeye's debut. Going up against perfection. They are perfection. That's a team that works for itself. <laughs> they work with Cell and Captain America. They didn't defeat the Cell, they work with Cell. They don't have any titles. They used to have one. I can go all day. You done? I'd rather not. But well, then please don't. Um, Why does it say 14 drinks? Um, Because they have rules uh, for drinking during ROH. And uh, TNA, and I'm presuming WWE too. Good lord. And Kakashi starting it off with Devamon helping him in the corner. Hawkeye not where he needs to be, but Hawkeye quickly countering this uh, deficit in a springboard! Hawkeye starting off nice thing at Kakashi, who turned on his partner Earthworm Jim last week. So who's to say he won't turn on this partner? That'd be a hell of a gimmick. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, Kakashi could fuck over anybody with that sharding gun eye he's got. I'm not totally caught up with Naruto, so I don't know how powerful he is in retrospect to where the story is now. Spoiler! Very powerful. I don't know. I just know he was the fucking <laughs> boss, you know, up until the beginning of Shippuden where I saw, and then I haven't seen really much of any of Shippuden. So, don't correct me for being, you know, wrong. Then I'm a huge Naruto fanboy, and I just wish I had more time to watch it. But I just don't want to watch all the filler nonsense. Yeah, I'm not a big filler guy. Yeah. I try to catch up on, a, like, one show at a time. Like, I finished... I finished uh, Fargo. Which again, watch watch Fargo. Yes. Billy Bob Thornton, man. Kakashi tagging in Devamon and Hawkeye cut tagging in Green Arrow. Like, everyone's on that show, too. You got Saul in there from Better Call Saul. What, yeah. what show? Fargo. Oh. You got Dennis from Always Sunny. Dennis. And they all have, like, horrendous Minnesota accents. That is a... Face in the canvas. That's it. Right. So now I'm working on Orange is the Black. I heard that's pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, it's getting popular. If you like Chick Jail, it's all. If this I'm not sure. Jail. I'm opposed. It's got Jason Biggs in it. I'm not a big fan of Jason yeah. Biggs. What about Don from that '70s show? Don. Who was Don? Hot was Donna. He? Oh, Don. Oh, is it oh. Don? No. Don. Hot Donna as in Hot Donna in jail? Yeah. I can get that. Oh yeah. In a lesbian love affair, no less. That's nice. Right. That's definitely something to get behind. Hot Donna. Yeah. If you watch the first episode, you see some titties. Awesome. Yeah, I saw the internet, so like. Well, it's hot and honest titties, so. I'm sure I can Google that. It's well, you can. Yeah, but you can see titties in every episode of Game of Thrones. No, I'm saying specifically you see hot and honest Oh, hot and honest titties. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, like, like, if I were to sell you just general titties, that'd be a horrible selling point. Just yeah. like, watch this chick jail show. Be like, hey, there's this thing called the internet. <laughs> Dev mind running around. Here comes Kakashi. And Green Arrow tagging Hawkeye. Here comes Hawkeye. All right, let's do Bad this. the bone. <laughs> Alright, Kakashi, not in any rush. Because, you know, Kakashi doesn't really need... Oh, what a kick. He doesn't need to pay attention. You know, I'm surprised he doesn't have his book in his hand fighting, you know, while reading his, his uh, porn book. He was pretty good last week. He was. Until he stabbed Earthworm Jim in the... Earthworm. <laughs> in the... <laughs> really? In the... I think we're going to have to look... I am think I'm going to have to, uh... See this. Because I know Earthworm Jim has, like, organs and shit. Yes, the Earthworms do have organs. But I don't know if Kakashi has enough like wow. wherewithal to know where those organs are. Flashy. In which for him to stab. Quick quick tags coming in. Um, And actually, Kakashi does. He does? Yes. So he has the wherewithal to know where to stab. Gigantic mutant. What a kick by yes. Green Arrow. Yes. Just planning Devamon. Another kick by Green Arrow. Just planning Devamon. Devamon. How, has Devamon been in action yet, or is this his yeah, first time? No, I think this is the third match. This is the uh, fourth, I think. Yeah, yeah. big scary match. Third regular match, and then the uh, Royal Rumble. You yeah, that title match we lost. The Goku won the title. That's match. true. Oh, uh, yeah. Elbow to the face. He has a big scary monster. Yep. Uh-oh, suplex time. Does, does, Cell, does Cell still have those ugly-ass angel wings? Of course he does. Okay. Can generate heat somehow. <laughs> that, they anger people. They do. That's why he wears them. Listen, if... if Cam Bushin couldn't get heat, heat by putting me in the hospital. I gotta go to alternative methods. So we You're still it. on that, man. How long has it been? He punched him in the dick. How long has it been? He put me in the hot. Okay, Shadow, that means right now, if I just attacked you 
for no reason and put in the hospital for a week. You're telling me the over under on you getting over that is like a year? I would Okay. I would make sure that you needed that you had overall good reason for hitting me in the nuts. And if you had overall good reason for hitting me in the nuts, then yes. Woo! I would get over it. Play it shot. There was no good reason. Okay then, so not over it. Get over it. It was just like he showed up at your door with a box of Captain Crunch and just punched you in the dick. And then with a the chair. The chair hurt a little bit. And then the chair too. And then he didn't even give you any Captain Crunch. Spring ball, green arrow, got to fly. And it's the one that has extra crunch berries. You mean oops all berries? No, no, there's still some Captain Crunch in there. Uh, just, but just he made his own Captain Crunch. So he just took a little bit of Captain Crunch and then put a lot of the crunch berries in. I Here comes that. Hawkeye. I need that cereal. And Kakashi. I, I definitely Flying for him by Hawkeye. Doing it, uh -oh, Hawkeye's yeah. looking pretty good in this match. Well, now he's not. Until now. Kakashi. Oh, yeah, headbutt by Kakashi. What a, a headbutt. The copy ninja. Is. Yes, from the village hidden in the leaves, Konoha. Oh, nice arm drag. All right, member of the Anbu Black Ops. I didn't know any of that since he was just a young keep, boy. Keep dropping names. One, two. I'm, I'm gonna. I have no idea what they mean. Cause you should watch. Now, Naruto. JR, there's, there's this thing I called anime. Because sure. it starts off it's, slow. Like, it it comes from Japan, and they just do like a lot of like dancing and like fighting and stuff. And they're either monsters or high school or like ten year old girls or squids. Yes. <laughs> or, or squid. Now, Jared, there's this thing that Kikashi you Kakashi for the cover. One, two, two three. Oh. Kakashi, Team Perfection wins over against the... Uh, I'm really Kikashi happy that that happened right there because I was about to talk to, to Jared about Tentacle. So I'm really happy that that match ended. Right there. Yeah. That could have gone way south. Yeah, it definitely went south. Hawkeye and his okay. debut being pinned, which is unfortunate for him. Saved you from a, at least ten minutes of horror, Jared. Yeah, Jesus Christ! That was brutal. An R O H. R O H. Green Arrow dropping a one and six in his career. Wow. That, really that is that is horrendous. Devimon three and one now. Great yeah. lifetime for him. R O H. Do you not have replays? Because that was ridiculous. added uh, Kakashi. Well, because he was in the match last week, so I had to look me down here. I know him. There he is. Just yeah. There he is. Joshi is one and one now. All right, Kakashi. Things happening. Team Perfection with the win. We're so. Wow, never mind. You're scary with those hands. You're shaking hands. The, he's scary in general. And you know they're dicks because they don't come out to I believe I can fly. All right, so so you're still telling me that Kakashi betrayed Earth when you were last <laughs> weekend. It's true. And here we go. In what way? He, they, were, they were tag team partners and he DT his own tag team partner. He kicked them in the Earthworm gut and then gave him a DT. So he pretty much like stunk cold, stunned him. Yep, pretty much. Awesome. It's pretty cool. Yep. Deadpool versus Quan Chi. The winner will fight Ryu for the title. Big stakes. And if Quan Chi loses, he goes to the D League for his season. Go. Also big stakes. He's going to hinder the career. Go Deadpool, but I am a big fan of uh, Quan Cheetles. So. I, uh, I was till he became kind of a dick. I, uh, I don't know who I got pulling in this matchup. It would be great if Taskmaster got involved and fucked over Deadpool. That'd be pretty cool. Or Taskmaster just you know won all the belts ever. Cause that'd be even better. Yes, I'd be I'd be all on board for Taskmaster. Task initiate task. Win all title belts. He'll get it done. <laughs> he'll get it done. <laughs> he'll and get he'll it done. put that brick in your face while he's doing it. And then I'll inquire inquiry about that. <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> You better have his money when he comes to collect. Yeah, that's, that's for damn sure. <laughs> you know, because he's got an AK-47 tattooed to his face. Two of them. But here comes the internet champion. Which means you don't use no yeah, pistol. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> he doesn't have to reload. Because bitch, he's got his tentos. Oh my god. <laughs> I was so hyped when that came on. Deadpool, <laughs> current reigning internet champion. God, he's been the internet champion for a long time, hasn't he? He's he has been defending for a long time. Why not? Because, uh... uh challenges for Do we just have that on pay-per-views now? Yeah, we are. It's not, not this one, though. Cause no. Pre-show. Yeah, something. What, what the fans vote is voting his partner. That's how it's going to Yeah. The uh, title, and they can vote on the. Yeah, we'll do a pre show. On, like on who it's like opponent's gonna be. Yeah. More reason for you to like us on Facebook. And then, and, but then, like, make it like a, like just that one match going up on like a Saturday night or whatever. Yeah, we'll do that. Here comes Quan Chi. 
Come Laying on. down the gauntlet against Deadpool. Does Deadpool have what it takes? Come on, Cheeto. The winner of this match will deserve the right to fight Ryu Futaba. No, Deadpool already earned the right to fight Ryu by winning that battle royal. So Quan Chi is just fucking blowing smoke out of his ears. He's also blowing smoke out of the ring. I don't give a fuck. He's being a big baby. Well, he's, uh, he'll be he's, he's, he's being putting, a sore loser. He's putting his, his major league career on the line right now. Quan Chi goes to the There's same school as Edge of the... There's of, a school I was talking about. Just antagonizing I people. I wow, it's a little smoky now. Can't see shit. I told you. It's like, yeah, just antagonize people. Like, that's how Edge got his second Money in the Bank briefcase. He didn't win it. You gotta make. Ma you gotta make. I don't, I don't agree with his, with his methodology, but uh, if our Deadpool would have flat out refused and say, you know, suck a dick. But it's Deadpool. Yeah, you gotta work. So he probably had some quirky, witty thing to say and made fun of him, and then. That's that. Now, what girl should I post this picture onto their wall? Oh, God. Dance, Ellen. I know, I saw it. Dance. I'd be like, Dan, this is waiting for you in your bed tonight. Regarber. I say, I say Dan and you bring up Regarber. Well, I don't want to keep antagonizing Dan because eventually he's going to murder me in my sleep. That's true. You guys get one of this match anyway. I'm going with Deadpool. I'm going to go with um, the man in the edge roll in this scenario, Quan Chi. Oh, man, no. Because he antagonized Mr. Kennedy for that briefcase match where he won on SmackDown, no less. Wow. I remember it wasn't that. a pay per view. It was SmackDown. I remember that. Because he exploited Mr. Kennedy's arrogance, which is quite possibly what he did with Deadpool right here. Those vicious knees by Quan Chi of Deadpool is in the early hole. Because when you think about the Magnation, you think of random 2006 SmackDown references. Oh, I think of that on my daily basis. Deadpool has no fucking what the hell did you say what a bo what more knees and no, boots what you said uh, he uh, quirky no um cockiness cockiness Deadpool's not cocky he's Deadpool he he does what he has to do and uh that's it no <laughs> I miss your secret nice <laughs> I miss your scent oh scent nice <laughs> <That's> disgusting nice <laughs> That, yeah, one day I was trying to figure out the creepiest thing you could say to another man. Uh, we got a headlock. I figured out with, I miss your scent. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that one, Trevor. That's pretty fucking Well, Deadpool crazy. tap out here. No, he doesn't. He's got the resistance. He's got the wherewithal. I, I believe Deadpool's going to put up quite a fight. I, you know, I don't... I, don't I hope Deadpool to... wins, but... Nice float over DDT, buddy. I'm a fan of Edge. Which is exactly what Quan Chi's doing in the Edge school. The Raid R school of antagonizing people. <laughs> back suplex by Deadpool. Quan Chi though fighting back. Running ball though. Running ball. Don't take a drink. No, no, don't throw me in the briar pit, Deadpool. I would never want to fight you to get a title shot. It's perfect. No. Quan Cheetos. Making moves, making things happen. So what are the stats on these two gentlemen? Well, let's look at the stats here. Slash, we got stats. We got Deadpool is a career. A career eight and twelve wrestler. Okay. And Quan Chi in his career is seven and two. Quan Chi is so Quan Chi has the upper hand, whatever. But yeah. he's still being a baby, and I think Deadpool will overcome that and put a one more W in that column. Well, you'd hope. Nice two takedowns, spine busted like takedowns by Deadpool. And now smashing the back of Quan Chi's head into the mat. The I'm internet, done. the internet champion, furious. Well, I'd imagine. It's hard not to be furious. See, someone must have told them that there were no chimichangas backstage for catering. That's a, that's a sad day, right? Yeah, there. no one's happy with the lack of chimichangas. Spring what? Spring. Oh, quite the move there by Deadpool. Especially Deadpool. Deadpool loves his chimichangas. I don't know. They got like a ranchero like dipping sauce they have. It's amazing. And he likes boobies. He does. Especially videos with boobies. Yeah, me too. They're nice. They're comforting. Yeah. So, if you ever have you played the Deadpool game? Seen the trailer yeah. for the Deadpool game? Yes. Yes, he talks about how he's like he likes video games with boobies and bouncy castles and explosions. I, I, I would also love some bouncy castles. The Deadpool game is great. It's not a great game by any means necessary. And what a nice move by Deadpool on the outside of the ring. But if you like Deadpool, the game is pretty much what you expect it to be. Deadpool is running a lap. No, Deadpool's smart. He did a, bi a big move on Quan Chi, but it wasn't and enough he to picked him, him up. 
Does that leave him down? Which is weird. Because yeah, uh -oh. he's he's quirky. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just dead. It's just the power of Quan Chi right there. Nice power slam. And a leg drop by Quan Cheetles. Well done, Chiefs. But two. Yeah. Ooh. And the internet champion still got some fight left in him. God knows he doesn't want to give up his eight mile type. Uh oh. Thing. Oh wow! What a counter by Quan Chi. It'll be a sad day for Mr. Poole. You know, Deadpool being not the cover one, two. two. Oh, Deadpool kicks out again at two, two, two and three fifths. Two and three fifths. I, I, I don't know. That's sixty percent. Sixty percent. Oh, Deadpool setting up. Getting him up. Whatever his finishing move is. I don't know. Uh, that is just the power. Of Deadpool oh, right bitch! There. He's got extenders. Right in. Out. <laughs> Two! Three! three. Over. Quan Chi's going to the D-League! Oh, fuck! Quan Chi is now a D-League free agent. And the fans can't pick him up unless we dread, like, we purge one person from the seat. Because they already fired and hired Duke Dugan. That is just unfortunate. Isn't it? Uh, we, uh, when do we get to the draft again? After uh, the purge. Which him and I will probably figure it out, then we'll have the purge video coming up. At some point. Because, we'll uh, Punchy seems like a D bag. I'll take him onto the magical magic carps with all my bad guys I got going on right now. Revolution. D bags. Is Revolution a mystery? It's always a mystery. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. So, what we got next? Uh, the main event. Ooh. Wow! Yeah, that's probably so underwhelming. That's a pretty, that was a pretty solid match, though. It was. It was a great match. It was. With Deadpool. Sending a clear message to Ryu and to Quan Cheadle. Where we live. At the same time. Sending Cheadle down to the uh, AAA. Down to the D League, the development league. It's really going to hamper the career of an of a aspiring champion. Going all the way to the D League for 10 for a whole season. It's going to be tough to come back from. Well, when you go to the edge school of uh, douchebaggery, yeah. <laughs> sometimes you come up a little short. You end up holding the bag. The edge school of douchebaggery. I'd go to that school. Well, why wouldn't you? Ryu versus Boba Fett. Boba Feats. I get, gotta get the champions in wrestling action. Absolutely. You gotta get a gift. Gotta uh, because you got a summer on contender, you know, uh, a match, so. Yeah. It's gonna obviously, champion. the champion. Apparently, we had Darth Vader the champion do a match, so. Don't look at us like that, JR. We figured it out. JR, you made you some flubs in your time. JR, you're not a fucking perfect man either, <laughs> all right? I don't want your shit at all. I'm the sure you reason why I'm still working and you're not, JR. Was that? I'm sure your first recipe of barbecue sauce wasn't great. You had to work on it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Oh, yeah. yes! Or, all right. Oh, Rich Street Fighter 4 specifically. Why right, you? Shut, shut the fuck for. Shut the fuck for. <laughs> shut the fuck for. <laughs> Which means there are three other shut the fucks. Wow. I don't know see how my wife is doing. Hey, what up? How you doing? Tell her to watch Farm. <laughs> and to watch this episode of Magnation Zoo. Yes. This is funny. Shout out to Shadow's wife. She's been in a lot of episodes in the last six months. Yeah! Probably not these recent ones, because I talk about impending marital issues. That's probably not. Yeah, you're probably not gonna show her this one. Yeah, or or the last D League. I probably don't want to show many people the last D League. <laughs> I just don't want to show people D League anyway. Hey, you want to watch this video where we're kind of racist and <laughs> we don't focus on anything? <laughs> well, in our defense, that that ladder match was like a half an hour long. <laughs> it's all kind of long. Uh, it was a half an hour long, and they transcended dimensions. Things happen. Here yeah. comes Boba Fett. Boba Fett. From, you know, planet. Oh, did you guys see that uh, trailer that they did up uh, the Star Wars like Gardens of the Galaxy trailer? I did not. Oh, after this we'll see it. Is it about Boba Fett? It does. No disintegration! Don't do it, man. No disintegration. No disintegration. No disintegration. I don't get that reference. What? That, because he, really? he didn't want him to Wait, 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 wait. I didn't see the movie. I, I forgot Darth Vader was a champion 21 days ago. You, you're a Star Wars fan. Yeah. I forgot Darth Vader was a champion. 20, I haven't seen those movies in like six years. So, so you're telling me you don't remember 
Darth Vader specifically telling Boba Fett no disintegrations. When he no finds, disintegrations. No. When he finds Han Solo. No, I don't. I have a horrible memory. This is not news to anybody. I got a concussion when I was two. It's not my fault. That's my new lariat, Ninja Turtles. Lariat? I'll give you one more try. That works. Man, I no, why did you tell me what it was? I was gonna let him guess. I feel bad. It's for not lariat. A lariat is an in as a mid air maneuver. This can do mid air maneuvers. <laughs> yeah, <fuck up. laughs> then you throw it and it attaches to your ceiling fan. <laughs> it was between that or Star Wars, but I figured Turtles was coming out like. Oh, uh, Turtles is better. Yeah. Star Wars is going to be my uh, backup whenever the Turtles dies. Backup. Wow, nice uh, move by Ryu there to Boba Feats. Now, this would be a way for Boba Feats to, you know, actually, like. Get into the title hunt? Be <laughs> again? Be good in something that isn't a Royal Rumble. <laughs> He's always around this area, just kind of like fighting champions and getting the title matches, then not winning them. So he's like our Alberto Del Rio. Yeah. No, he he's one champion. He's like uh, a I don't want it. He's like our Damian Sandow. No, Damian Sandow. We expect got, better of him. He got buried. Well, we haven't buried him because we don't bury people like that. I don't understand why they buried Sandow either. He's got a big dick and they're jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Speculation. Russian leg sweep, Trevor. <laughs> what? What? There was a dirt sheet out. Spring book! What? A few months ago, <laughs> saying that Damien Sandow made a pass at Stephanie McMahon and Triple H got pissed off. And they're saying it's because it was, like he had like a... Yeah. So... <laughs> so this match right into the turnbuckle is right here. So how about gold dust? How about a drop to the face of right here? <laughs> JR, I'm, I apologize. Hip toss. You don't need to look at me like that. Whip in the corner. That's a boot <laughs> stop by Boba Fett. JR, I don't deserve this treatment. No one deserves this treatment. <laughs> JR is just jealous. About uh, what? Hell if I know. There. How about now, JR? There you go. Kate. Ah, oh, damn it! Well, that was weird. It equalizes, I guess. Oh, God. Kate Upton. Because you want to look at Kate Upton. And then you pan out to JR's face. <laughs> and you wonder what he's doing behind her. <laughs> that's, that's not <laughs> something that I would. Hey, Sports Illustrated, why is you Kate Upton in, like, the Arctic? Because she did the, the like Arctic photo shoot a couple years ago. It's the Bahamas. It's easy. It's warm. There's water there. Nobody wants to see her warm. Everybody wants to get her cold so they can warm her up yourself. That's true. I would give her some cocoa. I don't even mean that in a weird way. Just <laughs> give her some you, cocoa. You're outside in a bathing suit in the Arctic. You probably need some cocoa. Let's have hot cocoa. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> Kate Upton's magnificent <laughs> what rack. What have we devolved into <laughs> as a trio? Kate Upton's magnificent rack is staring us in the face <laughs> while JR glares of disapproval. Oh, clearly, yeah, of course. Well, it's because I had to make a comeback. But clearly, JR must not have been used to being at next to King all those years. Who knows what the fuck King was looking at on his computers while they were doing commentary. Oh, God. One, two, that's... That's probably why King had a heart attack. Yeah, that's true. You saw we got excited. Look yeah, at, at, the, at the at the at the Titus O'Neil match that was going on. That's oh, springboard! Whoa! Oh, what whoa. It ball. was the primetime plays. It and was. hell no. It was. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know if I was even watching Raw that day. No, I wasn't. I was watching. It yeah. was weird, it was like quiet. Uh, yeah. One! Two! <laughs> Ooh. And they're like, yeah, we gotta go on a commercial. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, while we were away from commercials, some tragic news happened. Oh. Awesome. Got him in a rings of Saturn or something. They, they're like, they're like, yeah, we just gotta go to cut the commercial real fucking quick. This episode yeah. took like the worst left turn. Yeah. <laughs> what a oh, the choke slam by Ray. Oh, oh, the athleticism. The there item. you go. Can the Street Fighter pick up a victory here? The Street Fighting Champion. I'd like to see Boba Fett win. One, two, 
No! Kick out my Boba Fett. Boba Fett, give yourself something to live for, man! Unbury yourself! Yeah, I know you've been in that Sarlacc pit for so long, but... Come on, man, a thousand years to digest? You, you know who was up the Damien Sando, he'd unbury himself! Oh, yeah. He ain't no bitch! Oh, yeah, Ryu coming over here. Hey, yo, whoa, 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 what's going on here, buddy? Yeah, why you gotta take him apart our table? Yeah, man. You're not gonna use it anyway. Jair's disappointed in you. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, yes. Why did I open my mouth? Dude. Uh oh. Dude! This is bad. I'm what? uncomfortable. I. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Counter! Yeah! yeah. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Counter! Right in front of us uh -oh. here. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yo! Oh, oh my god! DDT on the table. Boba Fett, Boba Fett proud of himself. Yeah, you should be proud of yourself. Go and now on. you guys can't say that, that Ryu is in bad matches all the time. Shut up. No. He's in good matches. It's not championship. Imagine if Zangief was great. Not championship defense matches. Well, he wants to win the match. He doesn't want to fucking, like, wet, wiggle a magic wand or anything. He wants to win a match. All right, if you're wiggling your Are magic all MMA matches, listen, like, listen, great? Listen, if you're wiggling your magic wand in public, you've got an issue. For magic show. That's not the type of magic show people want to see in public, man. That's what you do beside behind closed doors. So you're saying Harry Potter's like that? Listen, I don't Cover know. Cover one, two! And a kick out. All I know is I wouldn't whip my magic wand out in public. Is that plancha bullshit? Is that plancha bullshit? Right, you in a roll! A roll! Literally! With a little bit of Hellman's on there. With olive oil. Ooh. I heard it's really good. I don't like mayonnaise. Stupid commercial. Fair enough. One, two, and a kick out. Barely got his, barely even brought his hand back up after that two count. Freddie Jones doing his job, doing work. Kick to the knee. More planche of bullshit. Wow. Yeah. A, a Yoshi tonic. The athleticism of this of this champion. What's he gonna do here? Off the ropes. What a oh! shining wizard! Kick to the back of the head. Hey, wow, not even a kick out of one. Not even a one count. He certainly knows what it takes to earn Magnitude's love, and Shining Wizards is one of those. I mean, yeah, pretty Into much. the corner. What a boot! Boot to the face! Where's your jet pack now, bitch? I'm not sure. Where's your blaster gun I'm now? Yoshi time. Maybe a thermal detonator, motherfuckers? That was impressive. I mean, seeing shit out of you, Boba Fett. Just seeing... Looking right here under the ropes. In an arm drag. Oh, hip toss there. A little, oh, sorry. Hip toss. Over, over, over the... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, counter by Ryu and armbar. An elbow! Ooh, shoulder there. Elbows! Jeez! What a back and forth match. What a drop to the knee! But we don't need Both those. Bet. I think they punch each other and just cancel each other out. A little fit. Going around back. Are you getting out of it? Uh oh, just suplex. The human suplex machine. Sorry, Taz. Sorry, Taz. Counter by Boba Fett. Holy cat block. No, were you fight out an elbow to the face? But you got to imagine how how much damage it actually did the Boba Fett with that helmet on his head. Yeah, you gotta imagine that that would hurt Ryu's elbows. Exactly. Oh my god. Yeah. But Boba Fett was a little disoriented and did miss a, a shoulder uh, block there. Well, yeah, I'd imagine that it resonates like through. At least that goes. So that messes up yours a little bit. Absolutely. And that was another Yoshi tonic and now Jawbreaker. Going around back. Right here with an elbow. <laughs> catchy. Very. You lose two points for country music, but catchy. That still leaves you with 98 points. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad at all. It's out of 350, but it's not bad. Not bad at it's all. It's respect to them. Hip toss there with Boba Fett. <laughs> Another Yoshi Tonic by Ryu. It's a song for the wife. I mean, that's, that's why it's there. Choice country music? We both like country music. I'm sorry. Why? Because it's country music. It all sounds the same. That's a debate for another time. Another time, another place. Would, would you like to hear my main ringtone? Eh. It's actually quite enjoyable. Elbow drop Everybody by Boba Fett. Everybody would like it. Especially Steve. Steve would. I swear to God, if it's heavy by first. No, that's another no. hip toss. Boba Fett trusting in the hip tosses. There you go. Flip. Ryu getting out of it. By Ryu. Boba Fett in the corner. Elbows. Elbows. And more elbows. Just two elbows. What another drop kick by Ryu. 
Yeah, this is a pretty damn good match. Back and forth. Brutal. Another... Someone get a count on those. That's at least five. At, at least. least. Uh, yeah, uh, I want to say at least five. At Stand least. Stand off. And a... What, what would uh -oh. Do Don't choke slam. Good lord. Imagine seeing him doing that to E-Honda. The cover. Oh, One. What? Two. Uh, three. three. And Ryu wins a matchup. Good Damn it, Boba Fett. This is a solid match, though. It was a very solid, solid match. match. Boba Fett needs to win stuff. Uh, and what do you want to sell? Tell us. Uh, Oh, the YouTube link. I'm I'm excited already. Are you? Dragon Ball Z fight in real life? Uh, oh. Hell's yeah. Is that probably from that makeup, that mock movie that the fans were making? No, it it's Nigga Higa. Huh? It's Nigga Higa. Huh? Right here with the win. With the win. Red, Magnus and Groot well is over. Say goodbye, everybody. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.